Hi, I'm Pam. And this is Melissa with ProjectNursery.com. Today we're sharing a feminine and fun nursery that's not your typical pink. Now, the reason why I say not your typical pink is because this is a beautiful nursery showcasing shades of blush and coral, which is a nice alternative to the standard pink for girls. Right, sometimes it's you, you want to do the pink thing when you're having a girl, especially this mom who had a bunch of boys at home and finally was welcoming a baby girl. Right, so now based in Southern California, she worked with Emerson Gray Designs. And I think the real inspiration in this room was the wallpaper, which is that focal wall, it's from Spoonflower. So if you don't know about Spoonflower, they have a ton of options to even create your own patterns for fabric and wallpaper. Yes, it's great, uh, it's affordable. You have to check it out, spoonflower.com. And what I like about this room is that she used Etsy to really score some affordable and unique pieces. Yes, definitely. Now, my favorite are these pillows. I have found a new shopping source for pillows. It's called Goods by Grin. I will now be purchasing my pillows from them. This nursery showcases the most beautiful gold pillows. Adorable, and I really liked the changing pad cover she used from Ivy Baby, as well as that tissue paper garland, also an Etsy find. Uh, I think it's playful, it's fun, and it adds a little bit of glamour. And the oversized wood monogram. Oh, those $35 to $65, it's a huge impact. I love how it's placed on the crib wall uh, on that Spoonflower wallpaper. And just so you know, that resource is called Kid Biz Letters on Etsy. So yes, lots of great Etsy finds and shopping to do thanks to this beautiful nursery, again designed by Emerson Gray Designs out of Southern California. We hope you loved it too. Please check out projectnursery.com for more nursery tours, and we'll see you next time. Hi, this is Melissa. And I'm Pam with ProjectNursery.com. And today we're sharing the perfect powder pink vintage inspired nursery. Okay, Melissa, let's take a look into this powder pink nursery from Dallas, Texas, done by mom Sarah for baby Anna. Okay, now this nursery, the second I saw it, reminded me of your nursery for your firstborn. I know, it's true. I loved this sort of shabby chic style. Right. Um, it does have a little soft spot in my, in my heart. I'm a little bit more modern now, but this is the perfect pink and white color palette for that, you know, baby girl. Well, exactly, and so they, she went with Benjamin Moore paints. Pure bliss, and it was actually kind of tricky finding that right pale pink. So one tip we always like to recommend is to buy samples and put them up on the wall so that you're sure day, night, and all lighting to get that color that you really want. Exactly. So this room is so soft, so pink and powdery. It's super traditional and classic and we love some of the key pieces from a restoration hardware baby and child. And mom Sarah was going for you know really white furniture. Uh, for me I like the furniture to be as white as possible and to keep all the whites consistent in the room. And you know what, I actually don't mind mixing different whites. I, I think it looks fine. Not um, for me, mix. yeah, not for me. I, That's something it for drives me crazy decide. when one piece turns out a little <laughs> bit more yellow than the other, but. But this is something that mom Sarah uh, wanted white, actually, because she thought it would be easier to clean and bleach out any messes that come right. along with baby, so right. it's kind of genius. It is kind of genius. Now, she went beyond restoration hardware baby and child. She went with custom glider, and the glider is obviously a wash fabric, so it's just a slip, it's cover, slip cover, which is so important. Right, um, from uh, Rio Rockers, it's a, a custom company that also did the bedding. Exactly, now my favorite part of the room has to be the feature above the crib, the Stunning. beautiful framed art. I love it too, it's vintage, it's sort of old world feeling. Now I would not do this in California because it's earthquake country and I do not recommend hanging anything heavy over the crib, but in Texas, you know, this maybe works. it's okay. <laughs> right, as long as it's secure, you know, you don't have to be fearful of earthquakes. And it's important to keep the crib pulled a little bit away from the wall. Uh, I do like how the crib is positioned though, in between the beautiful windows. Right, it, it allows for that feature wall. One thing that I really like about this room is the presence, and I think that Mom Sarah achieved that by hanging those West Elm panels near close to the ceiling. So it really elevates everything and gives that 
that grand feeling. Exactly, it's so important. And the fact that she even went with West Elm and Home Depot uh, hardware for these windows. Inexpensive, modern, but she made it work with her look by adding the bow ties for that uh, frilly, uh, girly, classic nursery look. Right, so she chose to splurge on some of those key pieces and then really choose some more inexpensive sources with those panels. Right. Overstock.com, I see Walmart in here, uh, it's TJ Maxx, highs and lows, uh, right. but at the end of the day, it's a beautiful, sophisticated little girl's room. It is. It's really fit for a little princess, and well done, Sarah. Thank you so much for sharing your nursery. Um, for more nurseries, log on to projectnursery.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Pam. And I'm Melissa with ProjectNursery.com, and today we are sharing the ultimate neutral nursery with a huge pop of a single color. So this nursery, like you said, Melissa, is totally neutral. It could almost be, you know, in any room. I think it's so smart, too, because it has layers of just neutral colors, white, soft shades of mm. cream, but there's such wow factor in this room because it adds serious pop, like serious fuchsia, pop. raspberry, pink pop, and the design is so well done. Right, so the jumping off point really was that raspberry chevron fabric um, that they used in the pillows, and you know, we have to back up. This room is quite spacious. You'll see that they were able to squeeze in not only uh, the crib for the nursery, but also a twin bed. Right. And, I love, speaking of love, I love the print, which was a custom design uh, love print that matches perfectly. So a Perfect. few other little accents, and um, you can't miss those metallic angel wings. We're seeing this trend, what a trend. Pop up everywhere. Everywhere. Now, my favorite, if, you, if your electrician is really good to you, um, I like the fact that there's not just one pendant light in the room, but that there are three clustered pendant lights in this room, which is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's a statement, um, but you know, because this room was quite simple, it, it works. It does make that statement. And, you know, like you said, when you start with such a neutral palette, you could really make this room with any color. Exactly. So for any parent out there that's struggling to choose which colors, what do I want to do with the room, what I, how do I want to paint the room, or maybe if you're renting, maybe if it's a temporary solution, keep the room in white and creams Simple. and just infuse color. I mean, I could see this room being easily recreated using maybe navy or green or orange. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but I think it's just a great uh, lesson in using color and design. Neutral with a pop. Neutral with a pop. So when in doubt, give that a try. I'm sure the nursery is going to come out fabulous and then share it on projectnursery.com. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>